It's really important to eat protein in the morning, so eggs are the perfect breakfast to give you the energy you need for your day. They're also great as a snack, or lunch, or dinner. Later on in the video, we'll show you a couple of bonus recipes that go well with eggs and will add even more nutrition to your breakfast. Let's start with over easy. Heat the pan on high. When your pan is hot, add a tablespoon of cooking oil. Crack the egg, then turn the heat to low. We are showing you one egg for presentation, but of course you can make a few at a time. Add salt. Once most of the egg white is cooked, lift it a little with a spatula to be sure it's not sticking, then flip with the pan or a lifter. Leave for 30 seconds, then flip again. Over easy means that the yolk is still runny. Perfect for dipping toast into. Poached eggs. So delicious, but such a challenge to make. Use this technique and you'll always get your poached eggs right. Use a pot that is deep, not wide, and put in lots of water. Add two tablespoons of vinegar. This keeps the egg white firm and gives it a nice round shape. Crack your egg into a bowl. This way, if it breaks, you won't lose your egg. Bring the water to a boil, then turn down the heat so it boils very gently. Stir the water before putting in the egg. When you do this, the egg moves toward the center and it helps form a round shape. Cook the egg for exactly three minutes. Take out the egg and place in an ice bath for five seconds. This stops the cooking and removes the taste of vinegar. If you're not planning to eat your eggs right away, you can reheat them later. Put them in a pot with hot water and heat for no longer than one minute. If you're hosting a brunch, you can make your eggs the day before and store them in the fridge. Just make sure they've cooled completely before putting them in the fridge. Most people like to eat their poached eggs on toast. Add some hollandaise sauce and you have eggs benedict. Break open the egg, add salt and pepper, and dig in. Make perfect, easy to peel hard boiled eggs every single time. Fill a pot with enough water to cover the eggs by about an inch. Turn the stove on high. Once the water is boiling, put in the eggs gently with a spoon. This technique of plunging the eggs in boiling water is called shocking them. Not that kind of shock, Guillermo. Okay, okay. After you put them in, lower the temperature so the water boils gently. After a minute, turn it back up to high. Leave to cook for 11 to 13 minutes. While the water is boiling, prepare an ice bath. Take out the eggs and put them directly into the bath. Let them cool down for at least three minutes. Hard boiled eggs are handy because you can make them in advance and keep them in the fridge. They're also portable and make for a filling snack. This is one way to peel off the shell. And another way. If you find this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. It really does help us. When you're ready to eat your eggs, peel them and rinse or drop into water to remove any remaining shells. Enjoy your eggs, however you like to eat them. But wait, we haven't finished. We want to show you some other ways to make perfect eggs. There are many different ways to make scrambled eggs. We are going to show you two of them. Crack your eggs into a bowl. Remove any shells. Whisk with a fork or a whisk. Place a non-stick frying pan on medium heat. Add about a teaspoon of cooking oil and heat the pan. The pan should be hot when you put in the eggs, otherwise they'll stick. Don't go anywhere, this is a really quick process. Add a pinch of salt and pepper, then mix with a wooden or silicone spatula. 
When the eggs are about halfway cooked, lift the pan off the heat and keep mixing quickly. The eggs will keep cooking because the pan is still hot, so keep mixing until they are nice and fluffy. Serve while they're hot. These are also great with toast or in a tortilla. The French have a different way of making scrambled eggs. Crack in the eggs and mix them well. Heat a deep pot on medium. Add a teaspoon of butter and melt it, then add the eggs. Add a pinch of salt and immediately whisk. Add a tablespoon of cooking cream and continue mixing quickly. The cream will slow down the cooking and add taste to the eggs. When the eggs are about halfway cooked, lift the pot off the heat and keep whisking quickly until they're fluffy. Enjoy your delicious scrambled eggs. Don't leave, because we still need to show you our bonus recipes to eat with your eggs. We show you how to fry an egg sunny side up. Warm a non-stick frying pan on medium heat. You can choose whether to use butter or oil, either work well. Drop in about a teaspoon of butter. Spread it around by moving the pan or using a spatula. Crack your egg on the side of the pan. If you use oil, use about a teaspoon. Our favorite is avocado oil. Shake the pan a little so the egg doesn't stick. When the egg is almost, but not completely cooked, Add a pinch of salt. If you salt the egg at the beginning, it changes the color of the yolk. This may or may not matter to you. Transfer to a plate and eat while your egg is still nice and hot. Quick and easy fresh salsa verde. This salsa is easy to make and adds another level of flavor to eating eggs. Roughly chop half a white onion. We recommend white onion because the taste is more mild. Peel one medium sized garlic clove. Roughly chop a jalapeno pepper. Leave the seeds in. Taste a piece. Every jalapeno is different, so it's good to know how spicy it is. You can adapt the recipe by using more or less pepper. Slice the tomatillos in half and remove the core. Remove the bottom of the coriander stems. Keep the rest of the stems along with the leaves. Add all the ingredients to a blender. Add two large pinches of salt. Add a quarter cup of water. Blend for about a minute. Check your seasoning. Salsa should be a bit salty to distinguish the taste of the salsa from the food it is complementing. Your salsa is ready. You can top your eggs with this salsa or line a tortilla with it and make a taco. You won't believe the secret ingredient that makes this salsa so tasty. Guillermo, do you want to tell us the ingredients? Of course, it's carrots. What? Carrots. It's carrots that make the salsa extra flavorful. I guess it makes sense when you consider that the Italians use carrots to flavor their sauce. And Italians know what they're doing when it comes to food. They sure do. These ingredients add up to a delicious salsa that you can use with all kinds of foods. Start by slicing the habaneros. If you like your salsa quite spicy, just leave the seeds in. If you want to minimize the spiciness of your salsa, remove some or all of the seeds. To avoid irritating your skin, use a fork and knife while doing this, especially since it really hurts if you touch your eyes afterwards. Habaneros are one of the spiciest chili peppers. They don't only have heat though, they also have lots of flavor, so we use them a lot.
Dice the onion and chop the carrots. It's not common to use carrots in Mexican salsas, but Guillermo knew they would make a great addition. Chop the garlic. You can chop roughly because you'll be blending everything together eventually. Add oil to a preheated pot on medium. Add the chili peppers, onion, garlic, and carrots. Stir and add salt to taste. Cook on medium-low for about 5 minutes or until the onions are translucent, stirring occasionally. Cooking the carrots and onions helps bring out their sweetness, which adds a lot of flavor to the salsa. Add the orange juice and the apple cider vinegar. Cover and cook on low for another 7 minutes, stirring occasionally. Pour it all into a blender or food processor and blend until smooth. If it's hard to blend, add a little water. You'll be proud to have made this delicious and healthy salsa. If you'd like to try your salsa in some tacos, be sure to watch our corn tortillas video. 